I'm George. I'm Eric. Today we're going to do a product review for KAK Industries on these muzzle devices. Let's get started. All right, guys, you got some pretty cool things to go over today. Uh, I'm going to start from my right and work on over to the left here. And we'll just uh, briefly talk about each one of these muzzle devices. So on my far right here, we have the Retro Extended Flash Hider. It is just over six inches long. Um, and these are rough, uh, rem reminiscent of sort of the extended flash hiders from the 1960s, the early adaptations of the M16 AR-15 platform um, and the, kind of the CAR 15s. With the shortened barrels <clears throat> with these uh, uh, extended flash hiders. So if you're looking to build kind of a shorty retro rifle, uh, that, this would be great. Next product here is the four prong flash hider. Again, it is uh, approximately like three inches long. And then we get into these two three prong retro muzzle devices here uh, on my right we have the retro taper and then on my left here is the retro three-prong duck bill um, some awesome history behind these duck bills um, <clears throat> the original Colt model 601s in the I believe 1961 had the original duck bill and then in 1963 they were replaced by these three prongs Uh, moving on, we have a hardened flash hider and the saw comp, which is similar in design. Uh, the saw comp is named um, so because these are actually what we have on the M249 saws. Moving on, we have a couple more compensators here. Uh, this is just the regular one and three quarter inch comp followed by a one and a quarter comp. So this is their comp mini. And then this guy is really cool looking. This is the RF comp. So you can see it's ported on every side here. And it's got sort of this spiral design. I don't know if you can see that. But this really neat spiral design going around. I'm actually kind of interested in trying this one out. And then we have our flash cans to round out all of these muzzle devices. So this is the mini flash can. comes in at approximately one and three quarters inch. Then we have the standard and the slim fl flash can. Each are approximately three and a quarter inches tall. Um, the only difference is the width of the flash cans. This is the slim, this being the standard. All right, folks, so we mounted the RF comp to Eric's rifle here. We're going to go out back and give that a try, demonstrate it for you. Um, the flash cans, we did a video back in the day, and we uh, you'll see the link above. We're going to put it above right about now. And you can go see my boy and I, we demonstrated one of the flash cans by KAK. So we're just going to try these other... Uh, compensators and see the differences yeah so let's get out back and uh, give them a try so to begin Eric is going to try out the RF comp and we're gonna do this in slow mode My son Noah here is going to be shooting the four prong. Right, we threw on the three prong duck bill onto the rifle, and George is going to demonstrate this for us. Firing the just the 
regular compensator here. folks so we went out back and we tried some of these out uh, we tried the one and three quarter inch comp we tried the RF comp we tried the four prong and the duck bill um, two inch on the duck bill and the four prong is three inches long so Eric, what was your favorite? <laughs> I really like this RF comp. Just the way that the gases get expelled through all these different ports and the way that you got the spiral design going. Like this rifle did not move when I was shooting it. Really? I yeah. feel like it anyways. Gases? Did you feel blowback? I didn't feel any blowback. Um... Oh, I think it expelled the gases in the way they're supposed to. Yeah. I think you'll see in slow mode, uh, folks, that you can really see the gases, like, going away. Mm -hmm. Especially when I was watching Eric and watching my son Noah. You could see the gases just kind of get away from you. So that's a, that's a plus. And again, um, earlier in the video, we did a demonstration with a longer flash can. I believe the slim line um, so make sure you check that out too um, you can really see the flash you can see the gases go away um, so what was your second one you think you liked second one I'd probably say this four prong just because it looks cool it does you know, this thing is just, <laughs> it's a monster <laughs> it is it is that is pretty neat um, so overall, I'm sure you've had your share of, you know, firing with muzzle brakes and compensators mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, do you prefer longer ones? Do you prefer shorter ones? Uh, it, I guess it just depends on the design, really. Yeah. Um, like I said, I think this is really well designed. Yep. I liked it. Yep. Absolutely. Well, folks, there you go. Now, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing more videos on these with giveaways so we're going to set up some giveaways um which is pretty cool yeah um it is so make sure you subscribe hit that thumbs up um make sure that you leave comments we also include our email in our videos because then if you have um more in detail questions or comments or something um you can just shoot us an email when you go to kakindustries.com make sure you use coupon code patriot72 that gets you 10 percent off all the products uh in their lines whether it be muzzle brakes compensators stocks um other things you just use coupon code PATRIOT72, you get the 10% off. So thanks, Eric, for joining us on here. Um, we appreciate it, and I look forward to doing some more videos yeah, with you, too. So and thank you to KK Industries. Yeah, this yeah. is pretty That's awesome. Great. Yeah, I think yeah, they, they're they a good company to work with, and, and uh, they stay true to their word, too. So shipping was super fast. I mean, he said it was in the mail, and... <laughs> I, and we're rural, mm -hmm. so I expected a couple days mm -hmm. delay, but it was just boom, it was right there. So, excellent. It is. Well, folks, that about wraps it up. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos. Um, we're going to be demonstrating a waltz tool from KAK oh. as well. And uh, I think it's it's a pretty neat tool. Well, God bless, God bless America, and God bless the Republic. Take care.